Good evening to you. It is a frightening call. Someone calls you claiming to have kidnapped your children, and that person demands money for a ransom. The Lexington police say that some people have received this kind of call, but they say it's just a scam to extort money from potential victims. Jordan Vlines is tracking the investigation tonight, and she's at the live desk with our top story at 11. Jordan? Sam, that's right. In the past two days, Lexington police say the scammers have tried to extort money from three people by claiming to have kidnapped their child. It's a scam that preys on parents' emotions. This was a very scary situation for these parents. Targets medical professionals. All of the victims have been doctors. And aims to extort money in the worst way possible. It's one thing we're talking about stealing money. It's another thing we're talking about stealing people's children. This week, police say scammers have called three doctors in the area, claiming they've kidnapped the doctor's child and are holding them for ransom. The person on the other line of the phone said, we have your daughter and we will give her back to you in exchange for money. If you don't provide us with the money, we'll harm her or kill her. And we're told that the scammers try to make the fake kidnapping seem as real as possible. The suspects had um, a young person, a female, crying in the background. And so they were able to say to that parent, this is the sound of your daughter's voice. This is your daughter crying. Thankfully, these situations were just scammers. So what to do if you get a similar phone call? Well, be sure to get as much information as you can from the caller. But don't try to negotiate and don't try to make deals. Do not agree to pay the caller. And last but certainly not least, call the police. Police say two of the doctors knew the call was a scam because they don't even have daughters, but the third doctor does and was, of course, initially concerned. However, he located his daughter unharmed a short time later. At the live desk, Jordan Valines, WKYT. Jordan, thank you. And so far, Lexington police have not made any arrests in connection with this scam.